What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie back with another video and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys Neo Fetch. Okay, cool. So I wanted to show you guys NeoFetch, which is a utility that you can use to kind of, you know, spice up the terminal, especially when you open it up. The first time you open it up, you know, you can uh, set NeoFetch to run and this will display your system information in the terminal. So I wanted to show you guys how to install this application and get it set up to where it will start as soon as you open up the terminal. So the first thing, let me go down and go to their GitHub page and show you guys that. I'll be back in a second. Now I'm over at the GitHub page for NeoFetch. Let me go down and just read a little bit about it so you guys can actually see what it's about. And if you look right here, this is an image of basically what shows up on the screen when you run NeoFetch. It gives you all the basic system information. Like for instance, your username as well as the host name and then the OS that you're using, and then a the kernel version, uptime packages installed, uh, as well as the shell, resolution, uh, the window manager, the window manager theme, you know, and so on and so on. It also gives you a little bit of information about the CPU, like what type of CPU you have, as well as GPU, as well as the memory. So it's cool to kind of see that pop up as soon as you open up the terminal especially when you do a lot of work in the terminal you know what i'm saying it's something that could just you know give you a little eye candy when you're actually opening up the terminal and also as you can see it comes with you know a nice picture of the actual the default is is a image of the distribution that you have so it'll have like the orch symbol here or you could put custom images in there as well so let me go down and close that and just read a little bit about it, it says neofetch is a command line system information tool written in bash uh 3.2 plus uh neofetch displays information about your operating system software and hardware in aesthetic and visually pleasing way the overall purpose of neofetch is to be used in screenshots of your system so a lot of people you know they'll bring up neofetch or they'll type in the command for neofetch and then take a screenshot of their system just to kind of show it off you know post it on the linux meme boards and all that stuff like on reddit you know people will post a system well this will give you know system information so people can see what you're using especially when it comes to the like the desktop theme you know icon packs you know all that good stuff in case people want to try to mimic your system and the way you have it set up as far as the theming goes now i'm going to show you guys how to install it right fast it's pretty simple and like i said i'll get it to where you guys can see how to run neofetch as soon as you open up the terminal so let's get started with that and just one thing before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys the installation page uh, so we can get in here and show you guys that it can be installed on pretty much all distributions. I know in Arch, it's in the main repository as well as Ubuntu. I don't think you have to add it as a PPA. Uh, let me go down here and see though right fast. But as you can see, it's in most of the major distributions repositories. So. Uh, like this is Orch right here. Let me go down to the bottom. Uh, Debian. So yeah, if it's in Debian, you know, you get to go for Ubuntu. So if you're using Ubuntu, but as well as Fedora, Rail, you know, all that stuff, it's in the main repositories for it. So now let's go down and get to the installation and show you guys how to use it. Okay, cool. So I had a virtual machine up. I'm going to use Manjaro for this demonstration, uh, which is an Orch based distribution. So let's go down and open up the terminal right fast and just go down and run the install. So basically, the first thing you want to do is update the system, obviously. So we're going to run sudo pacman uh, dash s y capital s y u uh and this will go through and update the system and i'm pretty sure this system is up to date because i just ran an update on it not that long ago uh before i started recording this video so we're good to go with that so let's go on and uh install neofetch so the command is sudo pacman dash capital s and then we want to type in uh neofetch and like i said it's in a repository so 
we can just type it in right fast neo fetch press enter and this will resolve the dependencies and you know find a package and then go through the install shouldn't take too long because it's a very small application like i said it's written in bash so it's a very small application and it is quick to install so let's go down and run it now so you guys can see what it actually does so let's go neo fetch and and press enter and this gives you all the information of the system and let's go down and make it a little make the terminal bigger so you guys can see everything so uh it's manjaro like i said it's, it's a virtual box machine the kernel is 5.4 you know what i'm saying and it shows this you know pretty image of manjaro so but it gives you all this information you know what i'm saying resolution you know desktop environment window manager you know window manager theme you know themes icons you know all that good information okay cool so you guys see how to actually run the application let's go down and add it to our bash rc now this is how you actually modify the terminal to actually run applications when the terminal is open so uh every user account has a bash rc file it's basically a hidden file that's stored in your home directory so let's go down and type nano uh and dot bash rc and press enter and this will open up your bash rc as you can see it has a whole bunch of stuff in there uh, that you know executes when you open up the terminal and so i'm gonna go down to the bottom and i just want neofetch to run so i'm gonna just put type neofetch there and press uh control x and that will save the changes that we made if we type y so and press enter that'll save the file now if we exit out the terminal and then open up the terminal again it will automatically run neofetch every single time you open up the terminal so that's pretty cool and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys on this video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course keep it techy.